Hello, I'm Admiral Jamie Fogo, and this is the third video that I've done, which talks about uh, what inspires me. In the first two videos, uh, I talked about my two grandfathers that fought in the First World War, uh, the Great War, uh, millions killed on either side. Uh, my dad used to tell me when I was a kid, well, his father didn't finish the job, and so he had to go back. And uh, in 1940, my grandfather took my father down to the same recruiting station he signed up in and enlisted him as a Winnipeg Grenadier in the Canadian Forces. Uh, my dad then uh, proceeded across the Atlantic Ocean to England and while he was in training in England he was commissioned as a sub-lieutenant, a second lieutenant by King George VI. And uh, King George VI is the uh, monarch that was in the King's speech. Uh, my dad uh, then trained with the Canadian forces until coming across the channel uh, in 1944 to land at the beaches of Normandy. He was always quick to tell everybody, I didn't come on D-Day the 6th of June. I came on D plus 44, 44 days later. But if you look at his war map, and this is the 4th Canadian Armored Division's map, they landed here and they quickly got into combat with German units that were ashore and still defending forward. And my dad was a lot like uh, Tom Sizemore, uh, the venerable sergeant that stuck by uh, Tom Hanks' side and saving Private Ryan through all the battle scenes. Uh, Tom Sizemore used to pick up dirt from the battlefield wherever he went. When my dad passed away uh, in one of his precious keepsake boxes, I found this. And that's his writing at the top, and it says Normandy, France. And uh, the text reads, here is some sand from our beach only a few feet from your door. While we realize you won't be able to wiggle your toes in it, we hope it will tide you over until you get here. And I think that was a message that came across the channel as the troops were getting ready to go. They had these coded messages. And then on the back, taped to the back, is sand from the beaches of Normandy. Now, also after my father passed away, I found this book uh, in his top drawer. This is the fourth Canadian Armored Brigade history of their time in the Second World War. I didn't notice this until last year, and shame on me. On the 75th anniversary of D-Day, I took this book with me to go to some of the Commonwealth cemeteries that are up near Normandy to see if I could find anybody who had passed away that was in my dad's unit. And I realized that he actually wrote in the book, this is his handwriting because he was uh, very neat at his uh, text and script, and he articulated each of the men in his unit in Delta Company that died, his friends and he was particularly taken with brothers. So if brothers died in a regimental unit, that meant the legacy of a family was gone for generations. And one of the last guys that died during the war was the chaplain. So that's my father's legacy to me. Thank you.